Okay, I just got to share how crazy GPT-4 has gotten. So I just started by asking it, are you familiar with the old Apple IIe game, The Oregon Trail? And it says, yes, I am familiar. And it starts explaining it. And so I stopped it. I said, simulate that game. You provide the text prompts one at a time, and I will respond. And so it starts doing the game. And it's like, you know, it's doing, it has just, it's now simulating the Oregon Trail game. It says, who do you want to be? One, two, three. I said, I want to be one, a banker. It says, you've chosen banker. And it says, come up with a name. So I say, Jay Fire. It says, welcome, Jay Fire. And it gives me all this stuff to buy for my journey. And so I just stop it right there. And I said, start the game over, except instead of the Oregon Trail, it's immigrants to Mars. Use the game, the same game mechanics and structure, but have it take place in the year 2080, and the player is an Earthling settling, setting out to this new life on Mars. And it does it, like it, it just created a game from scratch, it based exactly on my specs, um, and it calls it um, Mars Trail. <laughs> Um, it says, do you want to be a space banker, a space engineer, or a space farmer? And so I choose a space farmer. And it, it explains, you know, what you'll do as a space. And then it asks, like, what name do you want to use? And instead of just giving it a name, I said, I want you to come up with a wacky Gen Z name for me. And it says, all right. And it calls me Zephyr Moonstone. And it goes on. It, now, what's crazy about this is, like, if you think of any kind of previous program, it's like it wouldn't be able to distinguish between me giving it a name and me giving it a command, but it knew automatically. It didn't just put this as my name. It actually came up, it did what I asked. And, and then it comes up with a whole new supply list, but now it's, it has, it's come up with Mars specific supplies and it uses moon, mars credits and it even explains to me like how i should format my answer and so it says you know how much each item costs and so i say you know these are the items i want and then it calculates how many moon mars credits it's going to be and then gives me the remainder so it's even like working math in there um and then it starts doing, and then it just starts generating this story, which is freaking insane. And it says, um, you know, it's going to be seven months. And how do I want to do my rations? So I do normal rations. And then it says, you know, there's a there's a inter a cell malfunction. And you know, it just keeps going on, but like. That just like a year ago, just like maybe two years ago, there's no way this technology, there's nothing that even came close to this two years ago. Like for it to just generate a game, like I've been coding since I was a kid, and this is just mind blowing. Um, for it to just generate a text game on command and like no programming necessary whatsoever on my part. I just tell it what I want the game to be and it comes up with all the rules, all the mechanics, all the story, all the choices. Like, I don't know, I'm, my mind is officially blown by this. This is amazing.